I'm just going to talk about some of my favorite horror movies for Doug's channel. He talks about a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. And I just thought I would do a video for his channel to show everybody the horror films that I like. So, here we go. Some of them are going to be, you know, commercial horror films that everybody's heard of. And then there might be some that nobody's heard of. Or... And these cats are going to help me, apparently. Now... <laughs> So, let's start here. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the sequel are the ones that I'll mention out of that series. I'll push these in as I go along. And this whole shelf here is horror films, but we're just going to go through a couple that I pulled out. Um, Hatchet, love that one. One of my most favorites is Night of the Demons, the first one. Suspiria. There's like the Saw films, which who hasn't heard of those? Uh, Wrong Turn. Everybody's heard of that. And there's a couple crappy sequels. And Zombies of Mass Destruction. You may not have heard of that one. It's a zombie comedy, if you like that kind of thing. Night of the Living Dead. This is one of my favorites. It's actually the 90s remake. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. I like that one better than the remake, but I do like the remake. And then the original Psycho. I have the remake, which we don't need to talk about. And Pet Cemetery and its sequel, Pet Cemetery 2. I like the first one a lot better, but the second one's okay. And this is from Grindhouse, Planet Terror. I have Death Proof as well. It's coming up. Play Misty for me. Clint Eastwood stalked by a psychotic bitch. And the original Night of the Living Dead. Sleepy Hollow. It's a horror film. Um, but I don't know if many people really call it horror. House of the Devil. A newer horror film made to look older. Um, there's the Hostel films and a couple of other films. And Orphan, which I was really surprised I liked, because I, what I'd heard about it, I didn't think I'd care for it. Inside, which is probably one of the bloodiest films I've seen. Uh, mirror, so. Interview with the Vampire. And I have the Ginger Snaps trilogy as well. And the Porce Misery is one of my faves. And I was surprised about the remake for Sorority Row. Well, the original is called The House on Sorority Row, which is right here. It's pretty good, but I like the remake better. Then there's like the Jaws films in there, right there. We have uh, The Hills Have Eyes original and the remake. And then I've got the sequels to these. And This one was actually signed by Michael Behrman. Is that his name? Michael Berryman. Which I love. He always scared me as a kid. Sorry, Michael. And we have Halloween and Halloween 2, which I think are the ones worth mentioning. And I've got the remakes. Well, the si Rob Zombie's H2 isn't really a remake of Halloween 2, but I wouldn't really say his film is a remake of the original Halloween either. I just don't know what to call that. And then we have Carrie, which I love. And the Child's Play. I have Child's Play and then I have the rest of them in this thing. This is really cheap if you don't have it. And The Fly and The Fly 2. Or just The Fly. That's all that really matters. And Bram Stoker's Dracula, which I love. And right here are the Alien films. I like uh, Aliens and Alien Resurrection the best. Sorry for all your Alien fans for the first one. Then here's all the Friday the 13th films right here. And then we have Evil Dead. Up there is the Evil Dead 2 Book of the Dead. And then here's Death Proof, which I said goes with Planet Terror, right here. And I've got Devil's Rejects here, 
and House of a Thousand Corpses, which I like a lot better than Rob Zombie's Halloween films. And this is one of my favorites, Dawn of the Dead. And I've got the remake as well. And Day of the Dead's down here too. And a lot of you have probably heard of Dead Alive. I really like that. If you like uh, really B cheesy movies with a lot of effects, gore effects. Another favorite is Creep Show. I've always loved that. And then I've got that uh, this set that's been out forever that has all all the Nightmare on Elm Street films. But that's about it. I mean this whole shelf is all horror films. I keep the horror films separated from all the other DVDs I have over there. So I hope you enjoyed the horror films that I enjoy. See ya.